Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be looking at how to bake uh, the metallic uh, map, a metallic map for our textures. Uh, previously we have looked at baking the uh, the color or, or diffuse and the roughness and the normal map. So today let's look at how to bake the metallic map. Uh, if you go under uh, render settings, uh, make sure you are in cycles and then under bake, uh, you find that uh, you don't have uh, the metallic or metonens uh, bake type uh, but what we have is the glossy uh, bake type uh, which I think is the alternative or the same thing as metallic uh, but uh, I tried using that and it takes a lot of time to bake it's almost like rendering out the same image uh, so instead I came out, I came out with a different a uh, faster way of baking uh, the metallic map uh, which is basically a black and white map like you see and the roughness like you see how we did this roughness and uh, yes so since we have only one object that is metallic uh, which is this head part uh, this protection part uh, everything here is either cloth or uh, rubber or something and uh, so yeah let's bake this out and see how we can do that the first thing you want to do is add an image uh, that you're going to bake to so I'll just bake to this roughness image map that we made previously and uh, instead of saving overwriting uh, the roughness map we have already saved I will change the name so that we don't do that uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is that uh, since we don't have uh, the metal the metal name spec type here I'm going to bake out uh, the roughness map again uh, but uh, instead of baking uh, the input we got from this uh, that produces this this type of image uh, which is uh, our roughness I'm just going to switch out I'm just going to change the value here uh, for every metal element we have here uh, let's go to the head helmet here uh, which is going to be the metal part I give it a value of one uh, because as you know uh, when, when it comes to metalness uh, something is either metal or non-metal and uh, when something is metal metallic you give it a value of one if it's non-metal you give it a value of zero of zero so that's what we're going to do every object that has that is metallic we're going to give it a roughness of one and uh, everything that is non-metal we're going to give it a value of zero so let's go to the cloth here and uh, change it to zero uh, so as I want to keep track of what I'm doing I'm just going to hide everything that I've changed so we have changed this so I will hide uh, that let's go to this uh, stripe give it a uh, proper a value of zero go to this give it a value of zero then this give it also a value of zero and then hide that as well let's go to this give it a value of zero uh, let's hide that uh, this is also using the same material as the previous object so I'll hide that uh, this also is doing the same and this and this yes yeah, so we are done with that let me uh, hide everything else that we are not using that we don't go, we're, that we are not going to bake out yeah you can see how so this is what this is the only metallic part and uh, that's what we want to render out so let's select everything and uh, now we can bake out uh, the metal so uh, make sure that uh, every material you want to bake out has this image and uh, that is the image that is selected so let's go under render settings uh, make sure you're baking out uh, the roughness and uh, let's go to UVs and yeah, we're going to bake on this image uh, but uh, when we, when it comes to saving we'll save it as a metallic uh, material so let's go and uh, hit bake and you can see how fast it is baking you can see now uh, this part is given a value of white because it's going to be full fully metallic and every other element is baked out as black uh, because we gave them a value of zero and uh, you can see how fast that bakes out because the roughness map I found uh, bakes out really fast so yeah that's what I'm using as the alternative to uh, the glossy shader the glossy bake out I'll show you how how slow this bakes you know in a minute so let's save this as metalness 
Indonesia So now, now that we have that done, uh, we just open up uh, the previous project we are working with. Uh, you can see that this doesn't have that metal name. So when we give this a value of one, everything is turned into a metal. So what we want to use is our metal name map. Uh, so this, where is this metal? And I connect that under metallic. Now you can see that uh, this is actually uh, the metal. This is metal, and uh, everything else is not. I don't know if this presents it really correctly, but uh, let's uh, let's remove the roughness so that you can see what I mean. So if we change this to zero, you can see how this becomes really reflective. Let me also remove these other normals, other sorry maps. You can see because this is fully metallic. It renders as a chrome material. That uh, this, because it's plastic, and uh, it renders like this. Though we have, as we have, it, we have that set to full ma to full roughness. We can also change the colors just to, just to show you how this is affecting everything. So that is full roughness, and uh, this is how a metal would look, and this is how non-metallic or dialectic uh, materials would look. And uh, if we change this to zero, you can see, yeah, that's what we have. So let's just connect back, connect back our base color. And then our roughness. So you can use this trick to bake out any other, uh, any other uh, thing that you want to bake out. So say you want to bake out uh, let's see let's, let's, let's see what is not under under the back type here we have subsurface transmission yeah you can uh, so anything that takes too too much time to bake up but uh, you, you when you just want to uh, a black and white uh, value you can just use uh, the same trick and bake out uh, the roughness you're not limited to only a value of one and zero you can also use another map, a map and uh, connect it to the roughness and bake it like that, and you will have uh, those uh, that texture within uh, the metonins or whatever value you want. So if you wanted to bake out the transmission, uh, we have an option for that. So maybe you don't want to use that. Uh, let's see what do we have. Maybe you want to bake out the clear port, which is not, which doesn't have a bake type under here. Uh, you can just use uh, that. You can just use the same trick. Uh, whatever map you would have used here, you just connect it to the roughness and bake it out uh, directly like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. that is it, I think. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. If you want, uh, my rough normal map is not there. It's not connected. Yeah, I guess the normal map is working. Maybe the resolution is a bit down. Uh, anyway, so if you want to download the model, you will find it on my Patre on my Patreon page or my CG Trader account. Uh, maybe let me just show you some of the models that we have there, uh, in case you are wondering. Let me first put it this on the side screen so that I don't show anything. Anyway, you just go to this URL and check out my models if you are interested in that. And uh, yeah, thank everyone who has come around uh, to CG Trader and followed me. Uh, that's really helping out in uh, putting my profile out there. And uh, yeah, thank you, I guess. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.